What's up, guys? Okay, I made a, a video a couple weeks ago about reviewing uh, a programming subreddit called CS Career Questions. People seem to like it. I thought it was pretty fun, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing today, except on a different subreddit. So today we're gonna be talking about a subreddit called Programming Humor. And again, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. We're just gonna sort the top questions. Uh, so let's do that. Let's just go like the top month and let's just start going through it. So this first post has almost 50,000 upvotes. It says, if you're not happy single, you won't be happy in a relationship. True happiness comes from closing 100 Chrome tabs after solving an obscure programming bug, not from someone else. That is incredibly true. Um, I actually get really annoyed. I feel like I open so many tabs when I'm debugging. I have so many Stack Overflow tabs, so many random Google searches, and then it feels so, so good for whatever random reason when you finally find that really weird buried post that tells you the three line command that you have to run to fix your problem. And then you get to close like 70 tabs. It's honestly amazing. That is, that's true happiness. <laughs> All right, our next post has about 40,000 upvotes. It says, I know he's one of you. Samsung blasts Galaxy phones worldwide with weird one notification. One developer at Samsung right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's probably pretty true. I didn't get the notification personally, but if you blasted a one notification to about a billion people, that's that's pretty bad. And you're, that developer is not doing too well right now, probably. <laughs> Pretty layers of encapsulation. Most software is written like an onion. The more layers you peel back, the more you want to cry. I'm just gonna upload that one. <laughs> Saw this on Dank Memes. When your program is a complete mess, but does its job. Yeah, honestly, whatever works, right? It doesn't even matter. If your program works, that's all I care about. <laughs> Reddit is even worse than Stack Overflow. This is literally the saddest thing to happen when you have like a very, very <laughs> deleted. <laughs> that is like the saddest thing when, you, <laughs> when you're when you looking for an answer, right? When you've opened 70 Chrome tabs. Hopefully it's Firefox, so not Chrome. And then you finally think you find the answer and then the post is deleted. Wow. F's in the chat. That's That's a tough one. Really need the super powerful computer. Check out this bad boy, 32 gigs of RAM, 10 terabytes of hard drive, built-in liquid cooling capabilities and a $3,000 graphics card. What are you gonna use it for? Write HTML. I certainly hope not. HTML is not a programming language, don't talk to me. Pretty much, non-programmers watching me code. Other programmers watching me code. Yeah, I feel like everyone just kind of like stands over you and like, like looks at your code, judges you silently. The best kind of judgment. Programming life hack, almost 30k upvotes. They said they want someone who knows at least three languages and has at least five repositories on GitHub. So I wrote and pushed my hello world projects in Python, Java, C Sharp, PHP, JavaScript, and HTML. You smart. Well done. Good, good work. Good work there. When your code is terrible, but somehow works. Whatever works. As long as it works, right? You got across the bridge. It doesn't matter. You can't change my mind. Missing semicolons aren't a real issue and nobody searches for them for more than five seconds. I can tell you from personal experience, that's not true. At least it might just be me, but I literally once spent two hours in the library <laughs> searching for a problem in C and all it would tell me is that I had some segfault error. And two hours later, I figured out that I was listening, missing a semicolon on line like 12. That was a great day, really good day, love that day. Stack Overflow in a nutshell. Me, ask question. Everyone on Stack Overflow, that's a ridiculous question. That's actually why I never post anything on Stack Overflow ever, because I know everything and I never have to ask questions. And every question that people ask are ridiculous questions. If you don't ask a question, you can't be judged. Me. <laughs> Name a better duo, 98% can't. Stack Overflow and Second Monitor. That is so crucial. You have your computer here, Second Monitor here for looking up uh, all of the information on the internet for the small tiny bug that you're trying to solve. So I know that feeling. Naming every computer ever. You're an engineer, prove it. Name every computer ever. Four let i equals zero. I is less than computers at length. I plus plus. Computers i dot name equals ever. Well played. Good work. Me as a project manager. My insane devs doing all the work. Me pressing merge. Ha ha, yes, development. Yep, that's... That's always good. Something I love doing personally is like just cleaning up small formatting stuff and like reorganizing some curly braces and whatnot. And then you get all those plus lines in your little PR, which is amazing. And it looks like you wrote majority of the code base. But in reality, you want your lines to go down. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm destroying the code base kind of. 101% true. 
Only half of programming is coding, the other 90% is debugging. Ugh. Ha. Hot swabbing, me and my boys debugging in production. Oh my gosh, I hope this is not real. Oh gosh. No, 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 no! What? Why is that the answer? Why Why is that the, the answer here? Well, I guess it works, so. Mm. Oh, I can't even keep watching it. Building software, GitHub, Stack Overflow, connect them together, click run, he is alive. <laughs> Honestly, I think 90% of software is built from Stack Overflow probably. And then you put it on GitHub, so pretty accurate. Don't deploy on Fridays. My coworker watching me deploy a small fix on a Friday. Get ready everyone, he's about to do something stupid. Never deploy Fridays. I feel like I've done that a couple times in my career so far and it's never a good idea. It never ends well for anyone and whoever's on call that weekend probably just hates you. So honestly, just don't do it. Either get it out earlier or wait till Monday. Just don't do it, not a good idea. I'm a web, de <laughs> I'm a web developer. <laughs> Me after studying HTML in school for the first time, titled, this is my website, Wab the <laughs> Honestly, yes, that's exactly how I felt when I first took my first uh, web development class. I was like, wow, this is so easy and fun and no one ever should have a problem being a programmer because this is literally so easy and incredible. And then I took literally any other class and I was like, this is so hard. Why is this so hard for me? <laughs> the true nice number. Nine, 6.9K, no, no, no. We want 256, all right? Those are the numbers that we speak as programmers. It really do be that way. Who are we, clients? What do we want? We don't know. When do we want it? Yesterday. <laughs> you want it not now, you want it yesterday. I feel like most people want things done ASAP, so fast, and yeah, a lot of times I feel like people don't even know what they want, but they want it, so give it to them. Fridays be like not wanting to code. IDE has an update buying you five more times of procrastination. Yeah, five minutes, that's all you get. Tester or developer, developer, application. Kissing the application, tester, flailing it around, destroying it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's what they do, right? They need to make sure that everything works. So they're just doing their job and destroying the code every time. Programming perception versus reality. What people think programming is like. What programming is actually like. Yes, I think this is accurate. I think the majority of the time when you're programming, you're actually just thinking or you're trying to solve a bug or think about a bug and then the amount of time that actually takes to fix the problem is negligible compared to the amount of time that you sat there thinking about it. It's 2020, two monitors or so 2010. I see your name a better duo, Stack Overflow second monitor, and I raise you 90 Chrome tabs mocking you with a six year old form threads describing your exact problem with either no solution or someone linking to another completely unrelated thread asking, did you try this? Or ending in, never mind, I fixed it, third monitor. That, that hurts because that is really what it's like in 2020. So you have your second monitor and then you have a third monitor with those 90 tabs, all of which basically lead nowhere. <laughs> all right guys, I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys enjoyed this and wanna see more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.